गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल क्रिएट द कनेक्शन विद द डाटा बेस टेबल एंड गेट द डाटा और यू कैन से द इंसर्ट द डाटा इन टू द डाटा बेस टेबल बाई यूजिंग द स्टोर प्रोसीजर दैट इज डिफाइंड और क्रिएटेड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल take a user id type of variable uh, in it we can take uh, minus 1 minus 2 and the default number uh, okay uh, add a connection string object uh, in a sing simple variable you can see and follow my channels uh, that is created in previous video tutorials when we bind our data with the database server okay so connection string is required uh, a configuration manager class is used to pick up the connection string from the web.config file okay uh, in later frames i will create a connection string by using the sql data source control uh, you can uh, create Uh, SQL connection, or you can take the connection string in web dot config file directly by using the SQL connection class. You uh, you know very well about uh, uh, SQL connection class because uh, about this class we will discussed already in previous video tutorials. Uh, so okay, uh, in this video tutorial, let's. few something about uh, sql connection class actually sql connection class is used to, to connect uh, front end to back end by using the uh, connection string the connection state is by default of um, clause so must to open if you want to communicate with the database server okay now the next class is used here sql command uh i know you know very well about uh, this class because this class is already uh, discussed in previous uh, video so but uh stored processor is used here you can say the first time and uh, you can say the second time because in previous video tutorials i used previous so use the uh, in the double quotation the procedure name that is register underscore user with the connection with the connection object that is con <coughs> okay now prepare the command uh, command text ready by using the stored procedure so define the uh, command type that is stored procedure and use the adapter actually adapter is uh, working as a interface between the command and the uh, data set he pick up the table from the command and load to the data set okay so here we use cmd dot command type Uh, the command type is actually used for the stored procedure the command uh, the default command type is text so do not required if you uh, mention command text in the uh, in this tutorial but if you uh, mention the stored procedure in your statement then must to define the command type okay the data set exists in the data system dot data name space oops uh, the command type equals to we can use here equal to command type dot stored procedure okay that's fine now come to the next part that is parameters uh if you see the previous video tutorial 
then i mentioned three parameters like username password and uh, email open your uh, stored procedure again that is here username password and email there are the thir uh, three parameters in a stored procedure right click and open of your stored procedure yeah that's open is uh, successfully username password and email there are the three types of uh, parameters so one by one you can create or you can take array for th for this username this parameter filled by the text box that uh, user uh, user text box so user text dot text dot trim here trim is used to uh, removing the text front text and the last text just after the uh, if you put space just after the username then remove it okay Similarly for the password and the email we can add a parameters and into the parameters you put values by using the text boxes ok so pass text dot text and email for the email text dot text ok the concept is clear now the further move to the uh, switch cases how the switch case is run if you take values on user id then switch case is run but what get in user id by using the scalar method execute scalar we can get the current user id that is uh, available in the table okay user id convert dot to integer execute non query sorry execute scalar yeah that's fine now you can use switch cache here close the connection if you do not take the SQL uh, data adapter then do not uh, need to do this because uh, in this video tutorial I will show only uh, getting the value from the database server so here we have a executed scalar that does not need uh, do not need to require the SQL data adapter okay so in this method I will uh, I will not take the command parameters if you uh, want to communicate with the SQL data adapter then must to initialize with the command okay so but in this query I will not take it here add a string type of message so take a string type variable message if user id getting minus one then username already exists if user id getting minus two then email is already exist if not either minus one and minus two then the default case is run that is insert so user is successfully login if user id does not get minus 1 and minus 2 ok replace the username with the email for the minus 2 and the last one is default ok
so uh, you can run it on your browser and check it that is successfully run either run or not so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials and please uh, subscribe my channel if you want to learn many more things about asp.net and web forms and i will uh, i promise you i will provide you a better video tutorials uh, which is related to asp.net and uh, i will provide you the better technologies in futures like wpf uh, asp.net core that is uh, latest release and uh, mvc and many more things so please subscribe my channel uh, that types of message uh, that types of uh, method that is register startup strip of the client strip is used to run javascript by using the c sharp that is already discussed in previous video tutorial okay uh, that is how to run javascript using c sharp code so alert alert that is message okay so thank you again